I guess the very first question is what Z-Rhythm is, and why I should care about it. Hmm, honestly? I don't know, I just want to upload a video without trying too hard. So, Z-Rhythm looks something like that, and from its looks I suspect it is an office suite. In any case, it doesn't matter what it is, but on what it is written on. So from GTK Inspector we'll see it is written on GTK4, but not on libadwaita really, although it uses adwaita on some parts. Basically everything is completely custom here, in such degree I could never had guessed it was GTK, if I hadn't read it already. Anyway, let me do a quick tour to the interface, but remember I don't have a clue how to operate it. You know what they say. It looks like KDE, it crashes like KDE. Finally I will read the important parts of the release announcement. So, this release features a major change, the GUI toolkit that Z-Rhythm uses has changed from GTK3 to GTK4. This change was done to take advantage of GTK4's built-in caching and hardware rendering capabilities. Ha! The famous GTK4 performance! And I'm saying because I'm still questioning the advantages of the ports, like they don't matter. And I continue. This change has solved a major issue we were having with the UI being slow on low spec systems, or when lots of objects were on the screen. It also makes development of UI elements easier thanks to a simpler drawing API and built-in caching capabilities on the GTK4 side. Okay. Next we have some totally insignificant parts talking about the drawbacks and the regressions of the port, that I'm refused to read. Z-Rhythm official site is here, and features downloads of the alpha version, but unfortunately not flat packs. And of course it is open source, and you will find the code on GitHub. 